Have you ever walked into like a Mediterranean restaurant, ate a piece of baklava, and wondering why we're bombing these people? Because that shit tastes delicious. Why would you bomb those people? And they're always nice. That's right, you heard them, we're nice. And we love to make baklava for the ones we love, especially over the holidays. And in this episode of Feast in the Middle East, I'm gonna show you how to make baklava pie. It's kind of like a pecan pie, but with pistachios and walnuts and the filling. And then it has a buttery phyllo dough for the crust. If this doesn't make you drool, then you can get out of here. But if you're here for the ride, let's get started. Start by melting a stick of butter in the microwave. Make sure to put some plastic wrap on top so that you don't have a butter bomb in your microwave. Now some sugar and spice and everything nice. Add a third cup of sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, and a fourth teaspoon of nutmeg. Stir that up and set it aside because we're gonna sprinkle this loveliness in between the sheets of phyllo that are gonna make the bottom of the pie. Now don't get triggered. I'm melting a half a stick of butter for the filling. You want this pie to taste good, right? It is Thanksgiving. To that, I add about a half a cup of date sugar, but you could use any kind of sugar you want. Now we also have another surprise ingredient, date syrup, three-fourths cup to be exact. You can add honey as well, but I love date syrup because of its rich flavor. Plus it has 40 times the amount of magnesium and calcium as honey, and loads more potassium as well. I figure if I'm gonna indulge, I might as well get some healthy minerals in the mix. Now I'm gonna stir this up, but we are not done yet because I want this to have a nice custardy texture. What do you do for that? Eggs, three eggs to be exact. So I like to whisk the eggs first and then add it to the rest of the filling. To balance out the sweetness, it's also a good idea to add a little dash of salt. Now it's time to assemble the pie. Using your pie plate as a guide, cut the phyllo into a square shape. And the beauty is it doesn't have to be precise because you really want those buttery layers of phyllo hanging off the sides, which you will fold over the filling later. So for every two layers of phyllo, spread some of that melted butter on there and sprinkle some of that cinnamon sugar and continue until you're done with as many layers as possible. So the most popular nuts and baklava are pistachios and walnuts, and I'm gonna use both, a cup of pistachios and a cup of walnuts. I'm going to coarsely chop the pistachios. Fortunately, the walnuts already came in pieces, so I don't need to cut those up. Now it's time to pour in that filling. Look at it, it's silky smooth. It looks like salted caramel. It's gonna have a beautiful custardy date texture. Garnish with more nuts on top, and now you can fold those external layers on top to make it like a galette. And don't forget to brush those top layers with some more melted butter because you want it to be all golden and buttery when you take it out of the oven. Bake at 375 degrees until the crust is golden and the custard is set, about 35 to 40 minutes, then cool completely before slicing and serving. I really love this pie because you don't have to get sticky fingers the way you do when eating regular baklava. It's easily eaten with a fork. And can I tell you, my family went bonkers. This pie was completely, completely demolished in about 10 minutes. Hubby especially approved. And if you watch this video to the end, I wanna reward you with a holiday discount on my Feast in the Middle East cookbook. Use promo code FRIENDS10 and get 10% off between now and Christmas. This cookbook is more than just a collection of recipes. It's an invitation to explore a culinary journey steeped in history and culture. I guide you through each dish from savory appetizers and traditional main courses to irresistible desserts. Each recipe has clear instructions and stunning photography to bring each recipe to life. So whether you're a seasoned chef or a curious beginner, you'll find inspiration in the diverse ingredients and bold flavors that define this beloved cuisine. This book is your passport to a world of delicious possibilities. And a special thank you to my Patreon fam. It's because of you I keep going and investing in this show and I love sharing tips, recipes, and stories with you behind the scenes. 